What's going on everyone? It's Alex here from Alex Physio. So today we're gonna to be going over rib fractures and taping. Welcome. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Alexander Kravich. I'm a physiotherapist in Vancouver, British Columbia. And today I'm gonna to be going over why you should not tape your ribs after a rib fracture. Although it may make sense theoretically, you're trying to immobilize that region to help from a pain control perspective and limit the amount of movement that's occurring, which will hopefully help with your overall recovery. The reason why I'm advising against doing this is although there is some research to support taping from a pain control perspective, the risks outweigh the benefits. And the risks being by immobilizing that area and limiting the ability of the lungs to fully expand and limiting the ability for the appropriate gas exchanges to occur as the days go on, you are increasing the risk of a lung condition called pneumonia. And you may have heard of pneumonia. It's basically an infection of your lungs. It can be bacterial, viral, or fungal. That can happen with periods of immobilization or decreased use of your lungs. Pneumonia is something that's very serious, especially if you're older and have other comorbidities. It can lead to things such as a collapse of one of the lobes of your lungs because pus fills the small air sacs called your alveoli and it limits the appropriate gas exchanges to be occurring. It can also lead to things such as respiratory failure. It can lead to things such as sepsis, which is when the infection reaches your bloodstream and, and can affect multiple systems. And you can have things such as fatigue, fever, chills, nausea. So it's really all about trying to optimize your lung health, even though pain is going to be limiting early on by utilizing breathing exercises, huffing exercises, coughing exercises. I have some videos that where I go over some of these exercises and how to perform them with the rib fracture. But it's really all about trying to optimize your lung health. And even though it may bother you from a pain perspective, you're ultimately setting yourself up for success later on and decreasing the likelihood of those complications mentioned earlier. Have you had a rib fracture? How has your experience been? Have you ever struggled with pneumonia or any lung complications after the fact? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you find value in my videos, please consider checking out some of my other videos. I have over 450 videos on various physio, exercise, and medical related topics. And if you still find value, please consider subscribing to my channel. It really allows my channel to grow and allows me to reach a wider audience. Until then, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.